It's a little something about yourself. Well, my mom didn't want to move here, but she said since my dad makes so much money, we can go out of town every weekend. Oh, well, thank you, Heather. What I meant was, why don't you tell us about you? Okay, I never have to work a day in my life. <laughs> I see. Heather, why don't you hang your coat up? My mother says I shouldn't. Because it's so nice, someone might take it. <laughs> No, you don't, and I don't. Mayfield, my hometown, by Kelly Cleaver. Quiet and peaceful as nature's snow blanket. Memories of Christmas and Thanksgiving banquet. Alive as a fiery and hewing down for it. Mayfield keeps bringing me back home for more. That was wonderful, Kelly. Children, boys, <laughs> throw your milk cartons in the trash, not at the janitor. Stay here at the hall and make sure Heather doesn't follow you this time. Nice tone, Kelly. Thanks. Almost as nice as Brookhurst by Philip Carey. I had to memorize it last year in my private school. Uh, are you going to tell on me? No. Why would I tell him my best friend? You know, nobody likes me here. But from now on, you're going to have to. Something. Please, Mr. Stephen, your poem. Let's go. Heather, isn't today a piano lesson? Yeah, but someone has to turn the pages. Oh, hello, sir. Hey, I have wonderful news for you. Your poem was so good, I decided you should read it at talent night. Really? I'm so proud of you. I know your parents will be when they hear you recite it. I'll see you tomorrow, girls. What am I going to do? I can't read that poem in front of my dad. He's the one who read it to me. Keep on your breath. We'll probably give away all my toys and make me go to church. You know, you're cute. But then... Just don't tell you dad about parent night. Here. <laughs> uh, so, we'll move right along now and... Clover, your best friend. I can't play, Heather. You sure about that? I'm positive. Oh, Mr. Clover! Fine, I'll play with you. That's mine. Come on, we're going to my house. All right, but I gotta tell my folks. Okay, and also tell them that you're sleeping over tonight, and that you're going to be spending this summer with me and my aunt watching me water ski. In your dreams, <laughs> I'll be so clever! Yeah, honey, what do you want? Oh, hi, Heather. Good news, I found the couch. Oh, hi, Heather. <laughs> Did I have something to say to your parents, Kelly? I copied the one that Dad read to me out of that book. And heaven knows, she said that she'd tell on me if I wouldn't be her best friend. So that's why she's been hanging around with you. You've been blackmailing her. Mm -hmm. I don't think Kelly will be playing with you anymore. My dad's right. You lawyers make a big deal out of everything. Kelly, school hasn't even started yet. I left my lunch in my dad's car. I don't have any money. I'm gonna starve. <laughs> I got my lunch break. You can have what I don't finish. Maybe I don't like the lamb No wonder you don't have any money. Those hand painted t-shirts cost a fortune. Not this one. I made it myself. You made this? Amazing. I thought the only talent you had was gift wrapping. <laughs> I have it. Hi, Kelly. I'm okay. Wow, I just want to have a shirt like that. Kelly made it herself. Really? I thought all you could do is gift wrap. <laughs> sure. How much? Oh, I'd do it for free. <laughs> Kelly, are you familiar with the American dream? It means to study hard, 
go to a good college, get married, and have a beautiful family? That's the old dream. I'm talking the new dream. Unbridled capitalism. You want that shirt? Charge us through the nose. <laughs> Come on, we'll be partners. Your talent, my brain. You can't lose. I don't know anything about business. Sure you do. You have a dog walking service, remember? Yeah, I'm so upset about Rusty. Rusty, <laughs> Kelly, I know about these things. So never beg for lunch money again. All right, partner. Now what I do? Go back to Nasty and soak her. I'm sorry, Grandma. I wasn't blowing bubbles or anything. <laughs> Last time we go to that market. Every time they bag our groceries, they get our circle mixed up. Here's your sponges. Oh, here's your Mexicali corn. <laughs> ah, good afternoon, Mrs. Cleaver. Hi, Hi, Eddie. When I see you two in the kitchen, I know that all is right with the world. Oh, thank you. When I see you... Hi. <laughs> Do you uh, have a staff? The way just unscared laborers. We couldn't pay them a decent wage, so we gave them titles. <laughs> <clears throat> wow, what are you so happy about? You're not thinking of throwing your beard again, are you? My little girl has a staff. Can you believe it? Hi, Ollie. Hi, Mary Ellen. Where's the time clock? You work for Kelly, too? Oh, yeah. There'd be no break. Good line. Isn't that close enough? That's the kind of thing you know to be on the assembly line. Now back to work and make a squiggle sticker. You're the boss of me. I've had enough of your lip cleaver. You're not paid to talk. Ever <laughs> get ready to pat me on the back. Sunday is Nancy Tamon's 316 party, and she wants to give our t-shirts away as party favors. How many? 10? 15? Try 40. Oh, <laughs> Here's their real guys, and I'm going. Well, don't expect to have a job on Monday. You firing me? Who's his cousin? I can't have two sets of rules. If I give you the day off, then I'll have to give everybody else the day off. And then I can't fill my orders, and I'm out of business. Turn in your apron. <laughs> what are you all gawking at? Back to work. Come on, Heather, we better get cracking. We've got a lot of work to do. Uh, it's my sister's birthday tomorrow, and I gotta be there. She's only two years old. She won't remember if you were there or not. <laughs> Kelly, please try to understand. I gotta go. If you walk out this door, we're not partners or friends anymore. I don't need you. I don't need anybody. I made the first one, and I can make the rest. Everybody going? I'm sorry, Mrs. Cleaver. In a way, it's all my fault. Heather, speak English. Kelly's caught up in that new American dream. She built an empire only to find out how lonely it is at the top. <laughs> Heather, what happened? Everyone quit. She drove us to it. Oh, Mrs. Cleaver, the bikini style was wonderful, but it could have used a touch of paprika. <laughs> oh, hi, Heather. How's business? I never met any harm. Hi, honey. Hi. Well, what was that all about? Well, I think Kelly incited a labor dispute. Her staff just walked out. Oh, uh, well, everybody hates their boss. Well, he, Kelly's been going there. <laughs> yes, uh, of course. Uh, now, Miss Cleaver, um, why do you feel that you should be considered for this loan? I think my new collection speaks for itself. As you can see, I use only the highest quality materials. Very impressive. No shrinkage and no fading.